Welcome to the Workday Reporting for Business Users video series. In this video, we'll explore how to create a simple discovery board in Workday. Discovery Boards is a powerful ad hoc reporting and analytics tool that allows you to explore your Workday data in real time. With edit permissions, you can create dynamic visualizations of your data to gain insights from your information on the spot. To begin, go to your Workday Drive and select the Add New button. From the options, choose Discovery Board. Once you've given your new Discovery Board a name, you're ready to start building. Before we dive into the steps, let's explore an existing Discovery Board to familiarize ourselves with the key parts of the workspace. On the left side of the workspace, you'll find several panels. The Data Source panel is where you choose the data you want to work with. Think of a data source as a container holding specific information, like worker or payroll data. The Builder panel helps you select specific pieces of information, called fields, from your data source that you want to include in your visualization. You can also choose what kind of visualization you want to create, like a bar chart, heat map, KPI, or table. In the Filter panel, you can apply filters to your visualizations to focus on specific data. For example, you might want to filter to show data for a particular time period. You can apply filters to all the visualizations on your sheet or just to a single viz. The Configuration panel allows you to fine-tune how your visualizations display data. You can control the order of information, limit the data shown, and configure options like Drill By and Show Details. We'll explain these later. The Formatting panel helps you customize the look of your visualizations. You can change chart colors and table formatting. Finally, the Control panel displays any controls you've set up. A control is like a mini filter that allows others viewing your discovery board to interact with the data. This is the only panel visible to users with can view access. Now, let's quickly explore the rest of the workspace. At the top, you'll find some helpful icons and buttons. The Share button allows you to share your discovery board with others, setting different permission levels for who can view or edit it. The Undo and Redo icons let you reverse or repeat your actions as you build your discovery board. Next is the Save button. Remember to save your work regularly. Discovery Boards doesn't save automatically. The Add Viz button adds a new blank visualization to your current sheet. But what are sheets? Sheets display as tabs within your Discovery Board. Each sheet can hold up to 10 visualizations, and you can have as many sheets as you need. You can also rename your sheets to keep your visualizations organized. Now that you have a good overview of the workspace, let's build a simple Discovery Board together. This is Logan, a manager who wants to analyze the company's expenses. We'll follow along as Patrick shows us how to create a basic Discovery Board to meet Logan's needs. We have a brand new Discovery Board called Expense Analysis. It has a blank visualization ready for us to configure. Let's create one that analyzes the company's top expense items. First, we need to choose the data we'll be working with. In the Data Source panel, we'll select Expense Report Lines for Company. You might notice an asterisk. This indicates that there are required fields we'll need to fill in. Let's give our visualization a descriptive name. We can also maximize the visualization to have more space to work with. Next, select the Builder panel. From the Visualization Type menu, we'll choose Chart. In the Builder panel, notice a list of fields from our chosen data source. We'll search for the Item field and drag and drop it into the X-axis drop zone. You'll notice that we can't place this type of field into the Y-axis. Workday helps us by only allowing certain types of fields in specific areas. Now that we've added a field to the X-axis, the visualization starts to take shape. By default, Workday shows us the count of expense items. Let's add another layer of information by adding the Cost Center field to the Color Drop Zone. The chart adjusts, and a legend appears showing the cost centers and their corresponding colors. 
Instead of a count of expense items, let's analyze the total cost. We'll search for extended amount in company base currency. Since this is a currency field, we can choose how to summarize this value. Options like sum, average, maximum, and minimum are available. We'll choose sum and drag and drop it into the Y axis. Let's say Logan wants to focus on specific cost centers. We can do this from the filter panel. We'll add a filter to our visualization and choose the cost center field. Then we'll select only the cost centers we want to analyze. To allow others to easily filter by cost center, we can create a control. For the cost center filter, select the related actions. Then choose Create Control and Link. Now anyone viewing the discovery board can change the cost center they want to analyze. In the configuration panel, we can fine tune our visualization. For the X axis, let's sort the items by value total in descending order. We'll also limit the display to the top five expense items and clear the summarize remaining values checkbox. This panel offers many other configuration options, like changing axis labels, or displaying or hiding data labels. You can also enable or disable drill by and show details, which allow users to explore the data in more detail. While Workday administrators typically set the default field lists for drill by and show details, you have the ability to override these lists as a discovery board editor. The formatting panel lets us customize the visual elements of our chart. We can choose from a palette of colors and override field values to make our visualization clear and engaging. We're finished configuring our discovery board. Let's select Save to save our work. Congratulations! You've learned how to create a simple discovery board in Workday. Explore the possibilities with different visualizations and configurations, and you'll quickly discover how discovery boards can help you answer specific questions, reveal trends, and make data-driven decisions with confidence. Thank you for taking the time to learn with Workday.